Hello. So I'm back out here with the DX mic. What it is, it's a ground mic. Um, and this is an elephant foot. What this does is helps block out the sirens in the background and everything else is going on and helps you just listen down. Um, and then to add to it, it's got a great sensor on it. And what this device is going to do is it's going to amplify that signal. It's going to add this gain to it. So what's great about the DX mic is first off, we can control both the sensor volume and we can control the headphone volume. And right now I have it muted right here. So mute, unmute. And then we also have auto. If I go to auto, it's gonna look for the leak or my voice right now too, as I'm talking. So we could see these different frequencies right on the display that are telling you what's going on with these dip, uh, with the leak. So basically, as we're listening to a sound that comes out from the ground, it's going to become a little bit lower pitch. If we were listening to re directly under the pipe, we'd see some higher pitches over here. So I can take it out of auto as well, and I can listen to the frequency range. So right now we're between 5 hertz and 1,155. I can shrink that down or I can expand it and then we can also move it over. So if you get a lot of noise around you, it really helps to filter that down to a small range. So you could see we can actually get it down to a very small uh, slice. We're just looking at a, a 10, hertz, uh, 10 hertz uh band right now. That might be a little bit more narrow than what we need right now. So. We can see this spike right here. We already kind of have an idea of what's going on. And then I'm gonna approach to where our location is. At 220 feet, as this had told us with the correlator, it's just a little bit over in this direction, actually, sadly, underneath the driveway. So I'm gonna start walking towards it. And then hopefully you can kind of get a, a listen as to what I'm hearing as well. just trying to find that spot that has the most noise preferably at the highest pitch right now I've got it around 615 Hertz where it's the loudest so if you want to see what I'm looking at right here at this spot you can see we have this high slice right here and then we also have a lot of volume at our low frequencies as well if i brought on out that range we could also see what the numbers were i was in the 20s and then i got up all the way to the 30s when i got over to this spot right here so it's pretty simple you get to steer this thing as you want to you can move it to some manual frequencies once you kind of observe where that leaks at and you can pinpoint it you could just put it in auto and go along and do a survey um, when you're out doing a correlation, it's going to give you a footage. You're going to get a wheel out. You're going to use GPS or something. If you really want to pinpoint the spot, this is going to help. Thanks for your time.